uh, why did Triple IIT Delhi launch VTech pro- uh, program in EVE? I would start with the need, the need that the country sees. Today, electronics imports are the third largest foreign exchange outgo for the country. Electronics anyway pervasive is, is pervasive across all different parts of our lives from you know the cell phones to uh, laptops to uh, the small gadgets you know even fans and lights today use semiconductors in them. So uh, electronics usage has increased over time and its share in the outgo of our forex is increasing. So the government of India in its own initiative is encouraging semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem within the country. For that, we need trained manpower. And for that, a course like uh, BTEC in uh, electronics and VLSI engineering is the need of the hour. So as soon as AICTE released a notification that we could launch such a program, Triple IIT Delhi rose up to the occasion and we are amongst the first institutes, probably the only or amongst the first institutes in the country to launch a BTEC program in VLSI engineering. So that's where we are. How is EV program different from EC program? What advantages will a student in EV program have over EC program? So, uh, again, I would like to start with a little bit of history. Uh, until about 30 years back, there was no ECE program either. There was only electrical or electronics engineering programs. As electronics became a bigger field, electronics programs actually started to appear. IIT Delhi still calls its program as electrical engineering. As field evolved further, as internet age came, as our mobiles became more prevalent, and the advancement in communication technologies started to happen, we started to see the advent of ECE programs. ECE stands for Electronics and Communication Engineering. And now, as as we just saw, as I, as I just mentioned, uh, we are at the cusp. We want to start electronics manufacturing ecosystem in the country in a big, big way. So as we start to do that, you will see that already next year, I, I can kind of envisage that more than 100 institutes across the country will start to launch the EVE kind of program. So how is this different from the ECE program? First, uh, it does not have as much of communication courses in the mandatory coursework. So instead of communication related mandatory coursework, students will now do VLSI related mandatory coursework. They can still do communication related coursework by using elective credits. But the mandatory credits are no longer the communication ones but the VLSI ones. Additionally, uh, to enable this program and to bring about a significant takeaway for the students for this program, we are also adding more courses in our curriculum in the elective course bucket. Therefore, uh, we believe that this program will enrich a student to pursue a very fruitful career in the VLSI domain. An EC student will also be able to do such courses But an EVE student has an advantage because a part of the coursework is already mandatory for them and the remaining they can pick up as electives. For the EC students, they will also be taking up some communication courses. You know, they will therefore not be able to take up as many elective courses on VLSI as an EVE student will be able to. How did you design the curriculum of EVE program? Is the institute also considering adding new labs and sources in the department? So, uh, at Triple IT, we have a very rigorous curriculum design process. We anyways had a very successful MTech program in VLSI. So we know what it takes to run a successful program in VLSI. What we needed to do was identify more courses which are relevant for a BTech student. Some are more fundamental courses, uh, for example, physics of semiconductor devices, a course on uh, prototyping of electronic uh, systems, a course on ESDM and so on. So some are fundamental courses, but uh, many more elective courses which are more advanced courses we had to identify. Once we did that, we then uh, conducted workshops. Typically, uh, we use, uh, we, we conduct two or three workshops to vet whatever 
proposal we have with the best academicians, with people from the industry, with people from government to see and incorporate their suggestions. So in the first feedback, we had, I think, uh, five or six people from the leading industries in VLSI, be it ST Microelectronics, Intel, Samsung, you name it and you had it, uh, Micron, and, and also academicians from the leading uh, Indian institutes, for example, uh, IISC Bangalore, uh, IIT Delhi, and so on. We recorded their feedback, we incorporated their suggestions in our design, in the curriculum that we had proposed. And then we had another workshop where again, many people from the industry joined in and still more senior academicians joined in. Their suggestions were taken. And the beautiful thing is that as soon as we invited people, they were more than happy to come and be a part of this review because they see that this is a ripe time to launch more such programs and people from academia came in to see what we have to what we have designed so that they could design something similar in their colleges their institutes and people from industry came in to see if they can influence and bring in more industry relevant aspects into the program so uh, it was a win-win and finally, we have we believe we have a very robust curriculum and uh, our students will sh surely stand to benefit a lot from the way we have designed our curriculum. Given that we already have a very competitive MTech program in VLSI and embedded systems, how do you see the VTEC program fitting? So, in fact, uh, because we have a very successful MTech program in VLSI, that was the basis on which we could design the curriculum for the BTEC program also. It is because of that successful MTEC program that you are able to float uh, a BTEC program within just a few months of AICTE sending that notification. From where we look at it, the two programs are actually synergistic. Because of the MTEC program, we have very strong linkages with a lot of VLSI companies already. Uh, our projects that we offer to the MTEC students and even the BTEC students for that matter. Uh, who take those courses as electives, they are largely industry driven. The students that we have are industry ready. Many of our students, MTech students and also BTech students, pursue higher studies. So we already have research oriented components in place. So uh, we believe that more students coming in and doing this curriculum will only add to the manpower or the number of people working on these topics and we will only grow by leaps and bounds. According to the statistics of uh, the, the ministry, we need to have or we need to train more than 85,000 engineers in VLSI design and in electronics design over the next few years. So there is no dearth of it. We are only adding 60 more engineers there. Uh, the field is, is vast open and, and, and the industry, as the industry grows, we will absorb still many more engineers in the industry. I would say the programs are synergistic in nature and uh, it will only open floodgates of more industries being able to come and collaborate with us, participate in the curriculum and ensuring that uh, the learning of our students happens in the best possible way. So today we are turning down proposals of collaboration because we don't have the bandwidth in terms of students who can work on those projects. As more students come in, I'm confident that uh, we will have uh, many more opportunities for the students there. Will the technology evolves at a very rapid pace, how will you ensure that EVE program remains relevant and future ready? You are absolutely right in saying that the VLSI technology evolves at a very high pace. Moore, uh, Gordon Moore, who was the CEO of Intel for a long time, he gave what is famously known as Moore's Law, which says that uh, the number of devices that you pack on a die would Im increase or will double every 18 months. So no wonder uh, there are lots of technological changes that have to be done to enable this kind of an advancement. We've been running the MTech program for 10 years. We know what it takes to remain relevant. And one very key factor for this relevance is that we work very closely. You know, we have a very collaborative relationship with our industry partners. So we work very closely with our industry partners, not only to define projects, but also to do experiments. Our faculty publish 
in in the most reputed journals and uh, conferences and we are up to date with the most recent and up and coming challenges in the vlsi domain so i believe there is no reason to fear obsolescence when you talk about triple it delhi at triple it delhi all of us actually you know are at the leading edge or i would say bleeding edge of technology uh, yes uh, there may be constraints about access to uh, 7 nanometer or 5 nanometer processes but i think uh, that even the best of the institutes in the world have constraints around so what we design over here we design it in a way that it can be portable and can be used ag- across the most advanced technologies and uh, we do not fear obsolescence just yet Triplity Delhi has taken pride in offering cost discriminatory programs in CX plus X format for many years. This is the first time uh, EE plus X kind of program that the institute is offering. Do you think that there is scope of more EE plus X kind of programs in the future? So yes, Triplity Delhi has been a you know pioneer in offering cross disciplinary programs. and that is where the cs plus x disciplines come in yes you can say that uh, eve is a ee plus vlsi kind of a program if i think loudly i can imagine that with the strength of faculty that we have we can very well have programs in robotics in iot we can definitely look forward to having more programs but we are we are in no hurry uh, i think it is important that Uh, as we you know add new programs we stabilize and we add more value to the students who have just joined us so we will we will go slowly but yes there is no limitation to offering more e plus x, x programs they will definitely come when is the only question uh, what placement opportunities and career perspectives does ev a program offers to students so uh, the ev program is built upon the success of uh, the mtech program in vlsi design and embedded systems so we already have a lot of vlsi related companies visiting our campus and recruiting students from here as i already mentioned today we have to actually turn down companies when they come to they when they want and come to collaborate with us my friends from industry ask that if we have students that they could recruit and i have to tell them oh all our batch is already placed so uh, there is a very high demand for vlsi engineers from triple it delhi uh, it is linked to the way the market is growing yes but uh, even when the market is bad triple it delhi engineers are trained in such a in such a way that industry folks really love to hire engineers from here so uh, i don't think there is going to be any challenge as i mentioned more engineers means more industries will actually come and it's an opportunity that we are looking at thank you sir thank you so much for giving your time to the pleasure is all mine thank you